everybody, welcome back to First Hand Globetrotting. I'm about to start a nice long trip through Canada and my first stop is in Ottawa. But I'm not going to be there for long, just a really quick stopover before I head further east. Luckily I've been here a few times before and I've done most of the popular tourist things. You can check out my other Ottawa vlogs in the video description. So this trip is going to be about enjoying some great Ottawa summer weather and getting out on the water. My first stop was at the Rideau Canal. The canal snakes its way through the city, starting from right downtown. In the winter, it's turned into a giant skating rink, which I highly recommend checking out. It's a great place to take a walk during the summer, especially to check out the locks. The locks are kind of like a staircase or an elevator for boats. Each lock can have its water level raised or lowered, making it easier for boats to go uphill or downhill. Plus, they have the old Chateau Laurier looking down at them from above. I even found some time to get out and do some pedal boating. Partway down, the canal is connected to a man-made lake, Dow's Lake, where you can rent pedal boats, canoes, and kayaks. But after all that pedaling, I figured I should hop on a bigger boat and take a tour of the Ottawa River. On one side of the river is Ottawa in the province of Ontario, and on the other side is Gatineau in the French-speaking province of Quebec. So you get a pretty great view of both cities from the river. As soon as the boat leaves, you get a fantastic view of the Canadian Parliament buildings. In my opinion, it's probably the most picturesque landmark in the city. I found the view from the river was way different than the one from the land, so just getting out to see that made the trip worth it. But there were plenty of other things to see along the river, like the view of the Canadian Prime Minister's house and some of the other fancy places along Sussex Drive and Rockcliffe Park. The thing that caught my eye the most was Rideau Falls. It's where the Rideau River meets the Ottawa River, so there are a few small waterfalls as the rivers join together. I've been to Ottawa quite a few times before, but this was my first time out on a boat tour. This definitely gave me a different view of the city and let me see a few things that I hadn't had a chance to see before. On to the next day and I'm off to spend more time by the water. I drove across the river into Quebec and went to Lac Philippe in Gatineau Park. It's a big, beautiful lake with some nice sandy swimming spots, but I was there to visit a cave. There's a six kilometer hiking path that takes you from one end of the lake to the other, and you're never more than a few dozen feet from the water. Once you get to the far end, you hike a little further into the forest and come to Lusk Cave. It's really cool. You can enter at one end and go through the small, dark cave system with streams and pools of water in it. After about 10 minutes going through it, you swim out a small opening that puts you back into the forest. The cave water was pretty cold, but it was refreshing after hiking in on a hot day. On the hike back, I definitely found some time to swim in the lake. I mean, how can you resist a beautiful lake after you've been hiking next to it all afternoon? And that's it. My trip to Ottawa was short and sweet, but I managed to pack in some great water activities while I was there. It wasn't my first time here and won't be my last, but I got to see just enough of the city before kicking off the rest of my Canadian trip. Stay tuned to my channel to see what other awesome cities I visit in Canada and see all the great things I get to do. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. On Instagram, I'm First Hand Globe Trotting. On Twitter, I'm First Hand Globe. Follow me on there. And don't forget, it's an incredible world out there, so pick up your passport and do some first hand globe trotting of your own. 